Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this morning prayer for May the 1st, Monday, in the fourth week of Easter, or St. Joseph the Worker. Today we are called to meditate on the merits, works, and life of St. Joseph. So let us think for a second of him and of the reasons why Almighty God shows him to be the keeper of his two biggest treasures, Virgin Mary and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Blessing and honor and glory and power, wisdom and riches and strength evermore, give we to God who our battle has won, whose are the kingdom, the crown, and the throne. Hear through the heavens the sound of God's name, while rings the earth with God's glory and fame, ocean and mountain, stream, forest and flower, echo God's praises and tell of God's power. Ever ascending the song and the prayer, ever descending the love that we share, blessing and honor and glory and praise, this is the theme of the hymns that we raise. Let us give glory and praise to the Lamb, taking the robe and the harp and the palm, singing the song of the Lamb that was slain, dying in weakness but rising to reign. Let the splendor of the Lord our God be upon us. Alleluia. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth, or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. You turn men back to dust and say, Go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers, by evening it withers and fades. So we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in your fury. Our guilt lies open before you, our secrets in the light of your face. All our days pass away in your anger, our life is over like a sigh. Our span is seventy years, or eighty for those who are strong, and most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly, and we are gone. Who understands the power of your anger, and fears the strength of your fury? Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent, is your anger forever? Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, send your mercy and your truth to rescue us from the snares of the devil, and happy to be known as companions of your Son, we will praise you among the peoples and proclaim you to the nations. Let the splendor of the Lord our God be upon us. Alleluia. I will turn darkness into light before them. Alleluia. Sing to the Lord a new song, His praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the coastlands and those who dwell in them. Let the steppe and its cities cry out, the villages where Kedar dwells. Let the inhabitants of Selah exult and shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord, and utter His praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a hero, like a warrior he stirs up his ardor. 
he shouts out his battle cry. Against his enemies, he shows his might. I have looked away and kept silence. I have said nothing, holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills. All their herbage I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey. By paths unknown I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them, and make crooked ways straight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will turn darkness into light before them. Alleluia. The Lord does whatever He wills. Alleluia. Praise the name of the name of the Lord. Praise Him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing up some to His name, for He is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills, in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote of man and beast alike, signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew, Sion, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land, on his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Where two or three gather in your name, Lord, you promise to be with them and share their fellowship. Look down upon your family gathered here in your name, and graciously pour out your blessing upon us. The Lord does whatever He wills, Alleluia. The word is near you, on your lips and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. For if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Faith in the heart leads to justification, confession on the lips to salvation. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the Good Shepherd. I pasture my sheep and lay down my life for them. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, 
to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I am the Good Shepherd. I pasture my sheep and lay down my life for them. Alleluia. God the Father was glorified in the death and resurrection of His Son. Let us pray to Him with confidence, saying, Lord, enlighten our minds. Father of light, you bathed the world in splendor when Christ rose again in glory. Fill our minds with the light of faith. Lord, enlighten our minds. Through the resurrection of your Son, you opened for us the way to eternal life. As we work today, sustain us with the hope of glory. Lord, enlighten our minds. Through your risen Son, you sent the Holy Spirit into the world. Set our hearts on fire with spiritual love. Lord, enlighten our minds. May Jesus Christ, who was crucified to set us free, be today your salvation and redemption. Lord, enlighten our minds. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, perfect light of the blessed, by whose gift we celebrate the paschal mysteries on earth, bring us, we pray, to rejoice in the full measure of your grace for ages unending. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you all for praying with me this morning. If you can, please join us tonight in the night prayer. Uh, I hope you'll have a great day in the Lord. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please, uh, you're welcome to do so. Actually, we would love if you did it. Also, if you can, you can share and like our videos. That way we can reach more people. And then we can have more people here praying with us every day. That's our goal, have our, to have as many people praying to the Lord as possible. Um, have a blessed day. May the Lord bless us all. Bye-bye.